Hi, everybody. This is Crypto Rich working with you to get rich with crypto, filling our pockets with crypto profits. I have with me Dino from Digispin Spin Crypto, and we're going to be talking NFTs, and we're going to be talking about a cryptocurrency that has no transaction fees, both a project that he's launched, and I think give you a really great opportunity to get in on the ground floor. First step towards online privacy. Get NordVPN. Now, if you want to preserve your security and your privacy, go check out the Apollo wallet, which I think is the most secure wallet going. Use my affiliate link and the code for a discount. There you go. How you doing? It's hey. Dino, man. I'm uh, I'm known from the, the Digit Spin uh, crypto yes. web show yes. and uh, on YouTube. So, uh, yeah, I, I, we've put together some something neat. You know, I've been tinkering around with this Hive website because of Splinterlands. Uh, I don't know if you've heard of it, but uh, and um, I have a I have a good collection of Splinterlands cards, and I'm real happy about that. And basically, Hive uh, is a um, is a fork of uh, the original Steam environment, and then it's been modified with some other goodies and some upgrades. And but the moral of the story is, it's basically a freemium environment for transactions, which you know as well as I do, makes a lot of sense where you can send somebody something for a nickel and actually earn a nickel uh, and not lose $30 in transactions. So when you can do that, it's pretty fantastic. And the other thing too is once you're registered on the Hive network, you have to register on the network, get yourself an ID. And once you do that, uh, it gives you access to everything on this environment and so it, every website that uses hive um, can uh, access that information so the cool thing about it is you can go to one exchange a hive exchange deposit funds there place an order uh, and then go to a different exchange and you'll see your deposit and your orders automatically uh, on the other exchange so your funds never get locked in an, in any one exchange uh, using this infrastructure coin from Hive. Can I just say something about Hive? Hive boggles my mind. It's very, very clever and smart, and it's this growing ecosystem, or perhaps even an environment, like you said. And it does include ThreeSpeak.tv, which yep. is the decentralized uh, social media platform. And I've been posting on there, and I've made more money. On <laughs> TV in a few weeks than I have on, on the on Odyssey or BitTube. And I've been on those platforms for ages. Yeah, so it's, yeah. very, it's worth looking into. And, and just the story behind Hive, which I think is useful, because it is a fork of Steam. Because tr um, the guy from Tron, he right. bought a whole bunch of Steam and effectively centralized that. Mm -hmm. And then the people who were using Steam were like, no, 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 no. We don't want to be part of a centralized outfit. They forked it and set up Hive. And Hive is very, very decentralized. So I just wanted to put that in. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so that's Hive. And then you set up... Uh, and no ICO, so it, there was no ICO, no fundraise for right. Bitcoin coin. Exactly. Well, you know, I wanted to, my ultimate goal was to create a, a really cool game. I wanted to have a graphical game um, where you could get NFTs, uh, put them into the game, uh, because NFTs in general they they have no functionality or utility. So I wanted to give them uh, some utility. And um, to start off this thing, I also needed to create a coin now unlike you know everybody else who wants to ico you a coin and and, and or gather all this money um basically i did a no ico digit spin coin digitspincoin.com uh has all the details uh, i gave away about uh, 225,000 coins there's only 21 million uh digit spin coins and so i gave away 225,000 coins and uh is at zero. I wasn't looking to raise money. I'm basically funding all this myself, mm -hmm. right? Because I think it's going to be fun, and uh, and and it's really something um, that uh, it comes from the heart instead of um, those you know, trying to fill my wallet. And so, uh, gave away these coins. Everybody started staking them, and and it the 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 coin emits fifty uh, coins per hour, and it distributes them to the folks that. Uh, are staking the coins. Well, this created demand where people wanted to, to stake and earn coins and the price within three weeks went from nothing uh, up to 50, 60 cents right now. 
Um, and I've seen it hit a dollar, um, but it seems to be staying uh, at 50 cents uh, or higher. Right now, I think it's um, you know upwards of 70 cents at the moment, but uh, it fluctuates. And because people want them to be able to stake them, but now that it has a, a value, you know, people making 100 coins a week, you know, they're bringing in $70 a week if, if they decide to sell them or they, they'll compound their interest and, and use that to, uh, um, uh, to get, you know, to earn more coins because uh, there's well over 14 million coins that are going to be distributed uh, in, far into the future. And, uh, uh, and, and people want to secure them by staking them. Now, now that that's set up and done, uh, and you can access that on any of the Hive exchanges like Tribal Dex or Leo Dex or the Hive Engine uh, uh, Dex system. Uh, uh, now that that's done, I'm working on now <clears throat> the NFT game, and it's called Element World, elementworld.net. And basically, you know, the the gods, you know, in the heavens, they, uh, they, they, they love the beauty and they would create these nebulas and look at the colors. And, and, um, and of course, over time, they would get bored and start, you know, rubbing the guy, the god next to him and causing him problems and started fighting here and there. And so eventually, to quell all this, they gathered the elements. And they brought it together and they made Element World where they could create little civilizations as playthings to let them fight it out and to, and to, to play God uh, with these toys that they've created, um, these life forms on Element World. And um, so uh, this is going to be a graphical game. It's going to be not, not only will you get a card in your packs, there'll be different creatures, there'll be different elements, um, but the game... It's not just a card game. It also have role playing capabilities inside of it. So in other words, um, there will be different levels of armor and magic. Um, there'll be different uh, uh, levels of uh, um, of weapons and that'll be different cards. These are assets. And so the card will be able to be flipped over and you'll be able to plug in, um, you know, maybe the, the, the boots of a deity uh, for high speed or extra f uh, fire protection armor or what have you. And you'll be able to plug these things in along with elements, which gives you special capabilities, element world, uh, elementworld.net. Uh, you'll be able to plug these in. And so now your, your hit points and attack ability will go up on that card by uh, having these features uh, plugged into the back uh, of the card, which is basically another card. And so when you open the pack, so you might get a you know hammer of the gods or you know the average Joe common hammer, but it's a hammer. You know you put it in, you get a plus one. So as you uh, you, you go into uh, a battle, um, that will give you an edge over uh, the opponent. And uh, so it's going to be a process that we build this game up. Uh, obviously, right now. Uh, the reason why I'm bringing it to you, because you're my friend, uh, we're, we are in the midst of, a, of the private sale for the very first pack, and it's called the Founders Edition uh, for Element World, and there's only going to be 250,000 packs made. Mm -hmm. uh, there's going to be uh, unique items that will be found only uh, in that pack, and therefore, uh, you know, they'll be coveted or looked for because there'll be specialized creatures uh, that, and, and special items in there that will have bonus abilities that you just can't get anywhere else, but through the Founders Edition pack. And then the next pack, that sale, it's a private sale. It's only for people that watch my show and now yours. And um, for um, people that follow me on Telegram and on Twitter. And, and, and I'll have all the links in the description below. It's Telegram wow. links, Twitter links, channel links, and also elementworld.net and digitspincoin.com. Yeah, yeah, that would, that would be great. Of course. Um, uh, it's digitspincoin.com, right? Yeah. Digitspincoin. Um, okay. So that will, uh, that'll be kind of kind of neat. And the, the nice thing about the cards is that you'll be able to stack them. Uh, so you may have a level one creature, but if you got four of them, you'll be able to burn three of them and uplift this one to a level two creature. And so what this does is make that creature now more valuable to you. Uh, it has a better benefit to you because it has uh, it upgraded its skills when you did that. Um, and the second thing it does is it makes the cards more rare because now 
three of them have been destroyed and they've been burned. So if, you know, if there was a hundred thousand of those particular items, there's five less. And the more people doing this, obviously, I mean, the next level, if you want to go to level three, you might need 10 cards to burn. All right, uh, to get you to the, the third level. And then you may need 30 cards to burn to get to the next one. So when you get all said and done, you, you to bring this to a level five, you may have burnt over 150 cards, 200 cards to get there again. And then when you, they, when you have a lot of players doing that, then you're going to diminish the supply uh, set against increasing demand because people are going to be hunting around for cards, trying to get more cards so that they can burn them and then up a level. Right, right, exactly. Yeah. And this brings a benefit to the players in many ways one giving them a more valuable card and to making it more rare and things that are rarer tend to be sought after yeah uh, and so which is good now how does the digit spin coin come into this play well right now on the private sale you know because this first special pack is like ten dollars when it goes to public sale uh, around february 18th Right now, they're being offered for $6 a pack uh, in the private sale because some people like to buy them and then just flip them, you know, later on or they want to open them and, and look at the NFTs. Uh, so there's a benefit there. If you use the digital spin coin, you also get a 10% bonus uh, packs. So every 10 pack, you get an extra one uh, that you purchase. So if you buy 100 packs, you're going to get an extra 10 packs uh, by using the the digit spend coin so that brings value there for the digit thing is uh, in the game uh, because you'll be able to stake the more you have staked uh, in the piggy bank the game will see that in the in the uh, in the game and that's going to give additional capabilities to your team of characters or cards that you collect and there'll be additional things that you'll be able to do by making digit spend coin one of the tokens one of the one of the game pieces that gets used in the game so having it will bring uh, more enjoyability in playing this this game that we're going to be putting together that i'm working on currently you know i do a lot of i know i'm working on a lot of creatures and drawing them out and you know i got the you know, we got a couple of different ones we have this one here we came up with the uh, the stalker uh, oh, it's, it's green, so you're seeing through. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> over you, over your face. That'll show. Over I don't know. Over face, Dino. Over, over my face? <laughs> that, that's not going to help. Oh, wow. That's true because of the green screen. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. <laughs> but he's green, and you can see it every once in a while. But uh, that's one of the characters. Uh, it's right right around there you can see it anyway uh so he's one of the you'll, you'll be able to see some of the characters well uh, you know i'm on the website and i'll have the links in the description below yeah yeah absolutely you know i am doing designs of different creatures that are going to be uh, um in the game you know and it's a it's a lot of fun um when will the been, game be live yeah so uh there's a lot we're gonna have the we're gonna have a uh, test bed or a sample sometime in march for playability um what we're doing is, is uh, we're we've got to build all of the hmm, uh, the scripting that will connect the engine into the Hive blockchain itself. Uh, so there's going to be a period of time. So the answer is, uh, it's in at least six months before I'll have it uh, the game live to play. Uh, we'll have the alpha and beta beforehand, but uh, before I I'm, I, I release it. Uh, I think we're going to is, there, is there any mechanism for people to, uh, to give feedback, to get, you know, any sort of governance voting? Mm -hmm. so, like, how will that work? Mm -hmm. So uh, currently, um, uh, until we get the, the game's going to be produced in phases. So the first one is um, the ability to have uh, the marketplace. So we'll be able to go in, um, um, purchase packs, open the packs, um, be able to list your NFTs in the marketplace. Uh, from there, we'll have the initial battlefield set up, uh, the first uh, action part of the game, uh, where you'll have your, your 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 home area, where you'll be able to um, you know move from building to building, go to the shopkeep, go to the different uh, um, locations to be able to um, activate like the arena. And so you can move your character over into the arena, pick out five of your characters that you want to battle, and you would then uh, have a series of battles uh, against the um, the NPC characters. Mm -hmm. um, if you win, uh, you, we're, we're up in the air at the moment, but uh, we want it to be a um, play to earn, so you earn some crypto. 
Um, and the decision right now is whether or not we're going to be actually giving the digit spin coin, fractions of a digit spin coin, or creating an in-game token um, that can be uh, converted to digit spin or, or hive or what have you. So we haven't uh, decided that part yet of how you'll get paid in crypto. Um, you'll earn some uh, reward cards um, as uh, as you play the game. And so the governance part of it, um, as of right now, um, the NFTs are your value. You're purchasing the art. The game that I'm producing is uh, giving the NFT some utility, uh, so that there's something you can you can do with it. And uh, if if and when we decide to do a a full uh, open governance, it would be uh, at some point where it makes sense to do as such, where there's uh, enough players, enough people that are involved and want to make that go forward. Um, and and that could be a year or two down the down the road until the game gets established and and it makes sense. Right now, I've got a f I'm, I'm basically paying for everything out of my pocket. Um, yeah, you know the, the, the packs are, are are sold, and that's basically to cover the cost of keeping the um, the environment running, paying for the servers, the security, the help desk response, and and the. Uh, being able to answer uh, help tickets and and all sorts of stuff that goes on and uh, you know if it uh, uh, it picks up to a point where people really enjoy uh, then we'll have a different conversation uh, right. regarding yeah. governance very good well a few things i want to say about this right I, i'm not actually a gamer right i, I use i remember playing pac-man many many years ago and i was rubbish at that so <laughs> i never really got into it right but what i do know is that the gaming industry is massive and growing, it's bigger than the movie industry, which is probably shrinking because of all the lockdowns throughout uh, Western Europe and parts of the United States and stuff and those restrictions. And which would probably be even more bullish for the gaming industry because more people are at home. We've got um, more and more people are using blockchain and getting involved in the blockchain world and the emergence of NFTs. So this sounds to me like a really great opportunity for people to get in into a game that right at the beginning inside a growing sector, blockchain right. and gaming. And then sure. it boggles my mind. People are into NFTs and people are into fantasy games. You know, I've, I've interviewed uh, one of the team at Splinterlands and that made, we made a lot of references to um, what's that card game. My, my son plays it loads. Which oh, the magic. Uh, that's it. Well, magic, uh, the gathering. Yeah. magic, the gathering, magic, the gathering, right? Uh, so, you know, my son was and his friends were really, really into that. So it's like an, it seems to me like a digital version for that. And Magic the Gathering, MTG, was the first Bitcoin exchange, which yeah. started off as an exchange for MTG. And that's the oh, one that, that's right, Mount Gox. <laughs> <laughs> it just comes full circle. It does. Well, it comes full circle. Except well, the cool thing that, about it is that you, you could just collect the NFTs and combine them um and hold on uh, hold on to them because eventually we'll also have a, a, a renting market so you'll be able to rent the nfts so somebody can take them and use them in the game and you can you know get some passive income or to be able to um, um, make your cards more rare so you have some people that are buying the packs because uh they want to collect the nfts and combine them and make them more rare yeah. and we have others who are buying them because they want to be able to use them in the game so it gives an opportunity for both and uh so, you know so as a gamer like myself i could still buy the some nft packs hold on to them rent them out get passive income and i'm getting capital growth uh, over time as those cards get rarer and not only that if you have the digit spin coin that's generating i, I got people making a hundred dollars a week right now just you know with with two thousand coins that they got for free and from because they were in from the beginning and they're making a hundred dollars a week really with no money down so it's um it, it, it's interesting it's interesting it's uh it's all been pretty exciting everybody's really uh, excited to see things happening and um you know we're um we're, eventually in the game too we're going to have land and you'll be able to farm on that land and generate resources and then sell those resources in the game so if you have so much wood or or magic or whatever that it may be you might find some elements in the earth um and and as we go along too we want to um offer adventures that you'll be able to go and do so they'll be part of a land package where you'll be able to get more land and be able to add additional farming to your your little world 
That's fantastic. and also be able to buy into doing an adventure, uh, and uh, and be able to do that adventure, and then be able to earn certain things while doing it. Yes, and th those are the ideas that that you and your team have had so far. I'm sure you know that other people are going to have all kinds of ideas <laughs> you'll, you'll adopt. So the game's going to evolve and grow, like like life evolves and grows. Like who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? You know, ten years ago. 10 years ago, right, that you and I would be having, I never thought, that, no, I'm just a social worker, you know, and mm -hmm. the, that I'd be discussing fintech with some guy in the, in the United States who's funding some <laughs> stuff about gaming, really? Is it, mm -hmm. so who knows where we're going to be? So look, is there anything else you want to say before we finish up? Uh, I, you know, we've covered the basics. Uh, I just want to just to recap, to February 15th, you can get the pre-sale extended to your audience. Um, digitspincoin.com, elementworld.net to see uh, details about the game and how to purchase the packs. Because right now I'm doing manual sales of the packs um, uh, at that discounted price. And uh, that's you know really where you need to start. And of course on Telegram, uh, we have our channel where we answer lots of questions and, and, and Twitter. Great, great, great. Well, I'll have the links in the description below. And I do invite people to go check this out, do their own due diligence. You've got a little bit of time. And uh, thank you so much for Dino for coming on. And uh, for anybody who's watching, if you have any comments or questions, put them in the description below. And between now and when I see you next, please keep filling your pockets with Dino Profits. This is Crypto Rich and Crypto Dino signing out. All the best. Bye-bye. Thank you, Rich. Appreciate having us. Bye-bye, guys.